All right, this is lovely. I have a tick embedded in my back. I can just touch it behind my shoulder. I felt something, I think, bite me. And then I felt it, like, reach my hand back, and I felt a bump, and I've been putting my phone over and taking a picture, and I can see it. It's a tick embedded. Oh, I got to get my tweezers. I just don't, it's, it's almost going to be impossible to get it out properly, but I got to, I got to start, I got to start pulling on it. Uh, I'm about to stop hiking because I do not like ticks. And it's a, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a long, uh, long star tick or whatever. God, man, I knew I felt, I actually felt it bite me. I'm pretty sure. Unless it just happened to rub my shirt the wrong way and made me feel it. But it's definitely there. Let me see if I can show you guys. Uh, it's probably going to be impossible. Can you see it back there? I know you can see like a big skin tag, but then there's something uh, here. Maybe I can use the screen. I can see my skin tag. I'm not going to be able to pull him straight out there. There's no way. But if I, as long as I get him out. Uh, it's, I'm so fat and out of shape, it's hard. And I got these tiny tweezers. Can't see. Oh, I got him. I can't tell if I got everything though. It looks like it looks like I left a couple arms in me. Can't tell if they curled up. You guys see that? Sorry, it's not focusing very well. Alright, that's enough. Uh, good morning, everybody. It's uh, like 6.20 on uh, Friday, March 8th. Sorry, I'm trying to turn my light off for you up here. Let's see, get a little... There we go. Put that up in the skylight. There we go. There's something blocking it. It does get brighter than that. It's, uh... Oh, it actually was super, like cool in here last night with this i was worried at first when i laid in here it was so hot and sticky but the temperatures went down to the 50s it was beautiful but you know as usual everything is absolutely drenched in here um i'm probably not going to get on the road early today this is probably going to be a lay around honestly i should lay around all day today and not move period i am i'm extremely sore I mean, I guess I should be. I've pushed myself two days in a row, right? I mean, I know I know, it's embarrassing to say that at 10 miles, but it is what it is. got to start somewhere. And yeah, I pushed myself the last two days, specifically yesterday. I wish they had one of these trails. I like the Sino Canal Trail better because it wasn't all asphalt like this. It was more like a, I don't know, it was kind of spongy. It was good on your feet. And some sections were dirt, but a majority was kind of like this, I don't know, like spongy asphalt. I could have just slept right there last night. Uh, but it'd be nice if they had a trail like this to connect you from east coast to west coast, all the way through America. One single trail. Uh, you know I'm all anxious about this boat thing. One, I gotta communicate with someone to actually get on their boat. And then two, I actually have to do it. And thinking back to when I hopped on the train with this pack on, which was... Uh, Probably, you know, it was 100% much heavier. Probably 15 to 20 pounds heavier. <laughs> it's uh, hard for my old fat ass to grab something and pull up. I believe I see a little bit. And here, a ship passing on the river right now. It's supposed to be a super busy river for, uh, like, commerce and stuff. They definitely tell you, do not attempt to swim across it. Nice little park we passed. I, could, I might have been able to squeeze in there, but it's a little open. But I don't, there's really nobody around. Grocery store marked on my map. Oh, yeah. It looks like I'm getting wet right off the rip because I need to get over to there. And there's not a dock or nothing there. You're just stepping off into the... I need to go... I don't, can you guys see that? I need to go right over there. It don't look that busy to me. Yeah, I'm not swimming this. Too many crocs, they say. All right, let me figure out what I got to do here. All right, I was told to look down the river and look for some pontoons and then head that way. I guess it's down this way, so. Let me see, I called Shields Marina. Very nice lady. 
you know, I gotta tell him my whole story. She's like, oh, I got you. What side you on? She's gonna send someone. I'll give him twenty bucks. All right, that was nice and easy. Literally, she dunned it right up to the front there, and I just stepped off. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, that was awesome. I asked her uh, before, I was like, is there a set price for this? She goes, no, we just take tips if anyone wants some, but you don't have to. So I gave her 20 bucks. And uh, she honestly said that uh, you're lucky to get five hours from most of the hikers. Which, I mean, I understand it both ways. Because if you're out here hiking, you probably don't have a whole lot of disposable income. But it doesn't mean other people should stop. You know what I mean? That's very nice. And she did that quick. She says they try to get as quick, but... You know, during their busy season, the people might be waiting an hour or two. Obviously, you got to take care of your business first. And the other lady that I, uh, I talked to on the phone, she saw me looking around like a dummy. She's like, over here, are you the hiker? So, as usual, I stress, and there's no need to stress because it was nice and simple. Ah, oh, that was awesome. Before I got on the boat, I was like, permission to board, Captain? <laughs> she looked at me like I was a weirdo. <laughs> but I'm used to saluting the uh, flag, then the sailor. But if you were in the service, you know what we say. Especially because they're sailors. <laughs> <sighs> I forget which way it goes. It, when you're coming on, it's the flag, then the, then the sailor? Or is it the sailor, then the flag? Because it reverses backwards. So when you're coming off ship, it's one way. When you're coming on ship, it's the other way. I haven't been on a ship since, what, 03. I floated over to Iraq. But I've spent, what, 6, 12. I did a year, or two Westpac, so that's a year on board. And then floating to Iraq, I believe that was, what, two, three months more on a ship. So I got, we'll just call it, I got over a year of my life spent on ship. Oh, I'm just messing around, posting some shorts. Not posting pictures in my shorts, like posting shorts on YouTube, you know. I got Kate, I mean, I got service, so I did a little cadence, you know, a little. I like when, now someone's going to cross that corner. <laughs> or someone's down there, they're like, what, what was that? Remember that? You followed along when I was in the PNT and I was behind the uh, visitor center or welcome center, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, I did cadence and I didn't know there was people down below on the trail. And you heard, oh my God, who's that? Let's get out of here. <laughs> that definitely reminds me of Fortescue. I mean, this is what you get. This is the mountain views for Florida. This is actually put on here as a, a view, too. So, literally, this would be like the, you know, when you're driving in the mountains and you have scenic view ahead. Well, this is it. You know what I miss that would come in handy? <clears throat> is that clip that I hit. I actually ordered two of them. Uh, the clip, you know, to hold my phone. And uh, both of them just didn't work. I, I couldn't find the old one I ordered on the, uh, when I hiked across America. That thing came in handy, man. Just for getting, especially good pictures, especially selfies. Like, if I ever get a vehicle, which I hope to do soon, and live out of it and travel, a selfie stick is going to be ideal. I mean, you could just get so much better video, and it's a little more stabilized. All right. This is Saltwater Creek. Would you want to uh, drink out of here? I don't believe you can. It's way too brackish. I don't even want to try. I do not want to get... Oh, I can step up there. Please, I don't want to get wet. Although this body armor, uh, rapid flash IV or whatever it is, I'm basically drinking salt water. <laughs> All you can do is laugh. <laughs> I was coming up this, so... Worked my way around and got up that little log right there to get to here. And now I'm going that way. <laughs> so I'm getting wet no matter what. <sighs> Man, my feet were literally just about everything was completely dry finally. From the sock and everything. 
Not no more. I, I thought about just stopping and camping there. Is this it? Oh yeah, this is the campsite. Damn it, I could have just... I was thinking about stopping right here. I could have just... That, that's what the note said. You can plenty of uh, room to camp around these fire roads, which there is. All right, we're going to go uh, hike towards St. Mark's uh, Visitor Center or whatever it is. And if there's still workers there, I'll go in and register. Because it says you're supposed to go in there and pay. And I'll just be like, I don't know. And then, uh, whatever. But I guess they want you to register because they do a lot of prescribed burns here. You don't want to get caught there. That makes sense. But, uh, I want to get water there. And like I said, that's the last water spot. There is two other spots that you could get water, but both people so far this year have said nothing's there. Or one said it's way too brackish and the other one was too dry, so... It's tidal and who knows, so... Where am I going? Right? Well, probably can't see what a turkey vulture is landing in that tree. It scared the crap out of me. And what was he eating over there? Kind of looks like a hog from here, but I can't see it. See that black spot right there? I can't really tell what it is, though. I'm guessing a hog by the color of it. Yeah, I think that's the ear I saw. All right. Actually, that wasn't a turkey vulture. It was some kind of, still up there flying, but some kind of, I don't know, vulture, hawk, something. But not a turkey vulture. There's two of them up there now. Yeah, yep. Should I go crawling in there? It's a pig trap. I think I see a car up there. Um, that's where I'm heading. I was hoping to get here after it was closed, but so I'm gonna try to camp around there. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. That's why I'm seeing vehicles. There's a road here. I'm trying to go down there, I guess. St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge Visitor Center office it's supposed to be rain catches somewhere I see a bucket on the ground all right 3:30 guys just leaving there pretty awesome it's no longer a dollar to register I filled out some paperwork. <laughs> They were like, oh, you're going south? And I'm like, yeah, I'm on my phone. They could have cared less. They were all very nice and very accommodating. I did not have to get water out of a rain catch system, which I don't even see. There's a fancy uh, water cooler in there. I could even have got hot water. but So I got all my bottles filled up, and I got my C-Knock filled up up top. So I am ready to go. The next water spot from here, like I said, is... I, I don't know exactly, but... So... I'm going to continue on in here and try to get a couple more miles tonight. Quick change of plans. I was talking. I was a good distance down the trail again. And I looked at my map. And if I take this hard top, like Nancy was saying, because she was talking about another campsite, and I just wasn't following along. Nancy's the lady who was helping me out in there. But if I take this hard top down to 59... Oh, I like these new Broncos, man. I really do. Anyway, if I take... This hard top down, which is going to suck. Oh, by the way, I'm eight miles in already for today. Um, and it's 3.30 now. Anyway, again, if I take this hard top down, I can link up with the, an alternate route. It's a high water route. And it's also a hiking trail for uh, St. Mark's. And I can take that all the way around. Uh, it'll. It's basically going to bypass the campsite I was on tonight. It's going to take a higher route. But anyway, it's putting me on a better trail where I might be dry no guarantees but I might be dry all right so this is kind of unofficial because I'm not really on the trail so it's just using the closest thing to me right now but it says it's 18 miles ahead the JR's place I'm talking about so me knocking out these miles today was actually a big plus 
that's why you know it was good for me to go there but now I can't drink too much of this water though because I'm gonna need it tomorrow obviously but the more miles I do today the less I'm gonna have to do with less water you know what I mean that makes sense but I'm actually hurting but I got this weird which I don't get very often that kind of I guess you can call it a second wind kind of like in the flow state or whatever like the last time I had this I was in the PNT and I did that 20 mile day up in the mountains I don't know if you guys fought along with that uh, camp uh, camp host gave me a couple um, granola bars it was the day before I got to the church and I stuffed my face with pizzas and all but I was in a good groove and I wanted to get miles that day not quite in that mood but I got a little burst of something so I might as well use it alright 4 o'clock Dude, I would have bet anything on it that I was going to make a right on the trail. And here we are to the left, so. <sighs> I don't know what trail we're getting on here. I'm just following the blue on my phone, but. This actually is exactly the alternate now, the high water, so everything should match up on my phone. But this is where I'm going. <sighs> I'm glad I did all this. I feel good, even though I'm getting tired. Oh, yeah. If it's like a road like this, I'm going to love it, and I can just camp anywhere. There's a jawbone. Is that a gator? No, what's that? That's a big front tooth. What is that? That's a hog. See them fangs? Oh, man. My feet are getting sore, but this should help a little bit. I should be able to camp anywhere I want here. Man, I was just itching, like scratching my head. I like to, I've been running. I should have shaved my head when I was in the hotel last. And I was going to, but I was like, ah ticks. Anyway, I got a whiff of my finger, man. I'll tell you what, at all, body funk doesn't bother me at all, especially like, you know, the normal areas, like, I don't know, but I get a funk behind my ears that is just, it makes me ugh, gag, like, it's so funky. I don't, it's, it was bad left or like, I actually ha I went to the doctors about it, I mean, I didn't go, I was having to be seeing the doctor and I brought it up, but it's bad. Does anyone else get that? Like, it's my, behind my ears to get the worst kind of funk. Oh, that's nice. I could camp back there. I don't know why I'm talking about my funk now. I'm really trying to keep my mind occupied because I just kind of hit a wall. <laughs> Dude, I just drank some of this water that I got from that machine, and it's still ice cold. That's so... You forget about ice cold water out here hiking, man. If I take this road right here down... Uh, I think 3.2 miles, I'll link back up the regular Florida Trail. I'd actually be walking through this stuff, not on a nice road like this. <laughs> this is an alternate route, though, marked on the far out guide, so. Damn, I'm only a half mile in on this. I'm trying to push, but I ain't gonna lie, I, do not ha I don't have much left. Dude, I just came around the corner. Look at the size of this gator. I thought it was fake. I'm gonna zoom in. It's probably a small one. I'm just exaggerating. See him? Oh. I gotta look around for some other ones. Is that fake? <laughs> that big thing is living in that tiny cell. I'm sorry, I'm not even showing you. It's too zoomed in. Wow. Man, look at his teeth. Man, it's a dinosaur, man. It is a little little dinosaur. Wow, oh, you should, that's got to be fake, right? I think that's fake. I don't know. All right, I was all excited, but I don't know for a fact that that's fake. I'm not sure still. But I wasn't going to go mess with him and find out. <laughs> but I think it's fake. I don't know. It just looks... I don't know. It definitely got me at first, though. This thing was huge. Uh, 
If it's fake, they should have a camera set up that watches people's reactions. That'd be great. But I don't know if they would do that, though. Okay, maybe that alligator was real because I just seen another one up here crawl back, like move into the, uh, or what I think was an alligator. Something dark and big up here. They crawled from the, uh, like right in the, like right on the short grass into the brush line and going into the water. I'm pretty sure it was an alligator. She told me they'd be out today. I don't know why I'm nervous. I got a good distance, but I gotta walk by it. Whatever it is, it's something big. Hey, it had to be an alligator. It's because it's going right in the water. Oh, well, that's my third alligator I've seen. Yeah, that one was not fake. That boy, that other one was just massive. All right, I gotta get. I was gonna thinking about setting up a tent here. I don't know where I'm gonna camp at now around here with all these alligators popping out of here. All right, that's the fifth one I seen. Most of them see me and they skedaddle right back in. Hey, this guy doesn't care about me. I'm gonna try to get a picture next to him. <laughs> I'm not even pulling my phone out anymore just because. And they are so fast, man. How quickly things become just normal and I stop even pulling my phone out. But that one was nice because he wasn't moving. So I was like, let me get the phone out. Take a couple pictures and videos with him. I got to find a place to camp. One of these side roads or something. I haven't seen any alligators over here. So I'm guessing they're all over. The more water's over on this side. To my left here. Yeah, you can see something's been going in out there. Yeah, see that's deep water there. And I don't think over here is. Now this is dry, so I need to camp up on one of these side roads that go this way, like right here. It's almost five. It's like, excuse me, it's like ten of five right now. So I need to stop. All right. So I looked on my map, and yeah. So basically, as I'm walking down the road, there's that. That's an actual actual stream. They have it marked. These aren't marked. Anyway, this is the last road for quite a while on this side. But there's a couple more roads. I don't know what I should do. I just don't like that I'm camping. Be, but I've been camping next to swamps this whole time. But it's like an alligator can get in this stuff. I can't be nervous. right? I should just camp right here, I think. Right now, I'm 15 miles to the next water source. So I knocked out quite a bit today. I'm definitely over uh, somewhere around 12, 12 and a half miles, something like that today. We'll call it 12. So that's a good day after everything that I did. Right? No, hold on. I may only be maybe 11. Anyway, I did a good day today. No, I think I'm at 12 because I was at 10 miles around uh, that uh, welcome center, I believe. So we'll call it 12. So I've had three good days back to back. And today I started late and got this in. But it was all good walking. So I don't know what to do. Um, I'm going to I, I want to go up to the next road and then take the road far away from the water. But, I don't know, if there's, there's probably not alligators in this stuff right here. This is, I mean, they could be. Because, see, this is just, like, semi-swampy. It's more so, I don't know, landish. I'm going to figure out what I'm doing. Let me shut up. All right, look, the road changes here. I lose grass. Now, I don't want to risk, because I wouldn't be able to get, I mean, this is hard. I, I will struggle to get my stakes in there. This is what they're living in. This is, I mean, this is legit, you know. How deep is this? Oh, yeah, something's been coming in out here. I think I'll be all right. I'm going to go back where I was just at and set up. I don't want to risk that, even though I'm guessing the turnoff would probably be the same as this, but I don't want to risk it and have it be hard like this. So if I'm going to get eaten, I'd rather get eaten on some grass. Um, so I'm going to go back right here and turn back down the road and set up. Just I'm going to walk a little further down the road, see if I can't find me a dry spot. I don't, you know, not surrounded by gators. Oh, you guys aren't going to be able to see because of the sun. There's deer cross. There you go. How do I get it more zoomed in? 10. 
that too much? I can't even see the sun. I saw two cross. Oh, there's another one. I just think it's too zoomed in. Doesn't know what that. Dude, what is this stuff? Remember, it happened to my old Cenoc too, but it took a while. This is the first time I'm using this. Look at all that in the inside. I mean, I don't care. I gotta make sure I don't drink this water because there's dirty water in here. That's probably what it was. It's some bacteria from the dirty water or something. That's just, that's exactly what it probably is. Ugh, I don't know. It's, it's like fluorescent. All right, 5.55, guys. No fancy dinner tonight. I just ate two pieces of Spam quickly. I actually didn't enjoy it because I had a piece of Spam earlier. So too much Spam today. But uh, I'm set up. The bugs are absolutely insane. Like they're these little gnat things, no CMs, whatever you want to call them. They're everywhere. Um, no, now I got spam indigestion. Well, I made a spam sandwich. I put cheese in between two slices of spam and ate it. So, but still, I didn't do nothing fancy. Ugh. All right, I gotta leave my. Uh, feet out tonight because they're just they're just beat up for being wet sore so uh, bugs or not I gotta I gotta leave these ugly feet out don't worry I'm gonna charge you money for staring at these ugly toes ah uh, they're working man toes not, not that I've been working a little bit but infantry man toes how about that <laughs> all right good morning guys 7 a.m. on Saturday March 9th um, I got out of 10 early all night long no rain uh, Nice breeze finally picked up around 1 a.m. So my tent was actually completely dry. Um, and then this morning around 5, it drizzled a little bit just for like 10 seconds. And then a heavy downpour for like 5 seconds. Anyway, I was relatively dry. I'm like, all right, looks like the rain ain't coming till 10. I have all my stuff out and I literally just downpoured for like, again, 6, 7, maybe 8 seconds. Definitely under 10 seconds. And now everything's soaked. So such is life. It's way too hot for this rain gear. Don't know what I'm gonna do today. Um, I had three honey buns, finishing up my Red Bull. Had some beef jerky, so I'm ready to go. But yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna wear this today. It's just, it's too sticky. It's 70 degrees, and that was the low last night. Super sticky, I only got about maybe two hours of sleep. Usually I'm at like four to five hours of sleep of broken, but last night between the crazy noises that were like, sounded like an animal was like under my tent, and uh, just being sore and the, the humidity, I just couldn't sleep, so. But no vehicles came by, everything was good. Like I said, no rain until literally, this was the heaviest downpour just now, but it looks like it from 10 o'clock till uh, I go to bed tonight, man. We got a couple chances for some theory, serious uh, thunderstorms. Like they got the red uh, exclamation points all over them, all the alerts when I connect to uh, the weather channel. So we'll see what happens today, but I gotta get moving cause I got at least 15 miles to go before I hit water. Um, I just put my drops in my bag here. So when I step off here, I will have both of my liter and a half bottles full. So that's three liters. And then I'll have that filled. And I might have a little bit more I can drink today. So I'm stepping off for a 15-mile hike with a good amount of water. I'm full. So that's a plus. It's a good thing I did the miles just instead of just camping there and uh, hauling out water. So it ended up working out well. All right, guys. 7.30 on the move. Of course, if I would have just not been motivated this morning and waited 10 more minutes, all my gear would be dry. I mean, it's inside Dyneema bags, but I, I don't care what people say about the whole waterproof thing. If you don't have heavy-duty waterproof bags, like the old uh, green bag in the Marine Corps we used to have, it's literally just a chunk of rubber with a string tied to the top. Yeah, that keeps stuff dry, no matter what happens. But all this ultralight stuff, no. The zippers, they're all weak point, no matter what. The clips, everything. So, my gear is dry, yes, but it's... Everything inside my pack is wet. Um, I don't have a towel, so I didn't dry it. I tried to dry it off of my shirt, but you're basically just spreading water around and bug spray. So um, I didn't have as much water as I thought, so I got three full liters and about uh, another 12 to 15 ounces there. So I'm okay. Uh, does anybody know what builds these little uh, like mud huts all along? They're usually around uh, like wet areas. Uh, my guess is frogs. And they're like little... Like a pineapple of dirt, like a half a pineapple of dirt, but it's made of like all little. What was that? 
<laughs> it was all made of like little balls of dirt. My guess is frogs, but I'm not sure. Uh, probably help if I show you one as I'm talking about it. There's swamp on both sides of me now. I have been walking on the right side to, just, to stay away in theory as far as away, but now I'm violating Mr. Miyagi's like number one rule to Daniel's son. You guys remember that? Karate Kid, the original, not this remake crap. Walk left side, okay. Walk right side, okay. Walk center, boom. Smash like grape. Understand, Daniel son? I don't understand, but I'm walking in the center. I don't want to get squashed like a grape, though. All right, got a little rain. Feels good, though. Um, on a positive note, now that I'm linked back up with the trail, it says I'm only uh, nine miles from uh, the store. And I'm already 2.72 in, so maybe not as uh, big of a day as I thought. We'll see. But that's positive, so I feel good about it. It's definitely worth the extra miles, you know, what I did yesterday. And taking that route that I did. Looks like I might have cut off a little bit of a headache for me. That looks like a crock heaven. Alright, I'm going to take a little break here and refill my water. It's, I'm 3.17 miles in. Here's a Florida trail marker. I'm staying straight on this route, but there's the also going to the woods route right here, I guess. I would have came out of there, I think, though. Either way, I'm going straight, I believe. All right, nine o'clock, little breaks over. I'm on the trail. Looks like I'm on this road for a nice shot. I like it. I mean, it's not the most, uh... Anyway, I like it, I don't care. <laughs> I'd much rather do a whole trail of this than stomping through flooded trails and swamps and stuff. Alright, 9.45 guys. I am 5.03 miles in. Just had some uh, jerky and some honey packets. I believe we're crossing a river right now because I just passed the Pinot River camp, uh, camp zone. Camp spot? Camp room. There you go. not much of a river actually a little creek oh no sorry we got some movement up there oh, i got some rocks in my shoe sorry i pulled out my phone to get it but i had it on portrait mode until it took a picture it was a huge guard down there swimming and it just ate something just, you know, waiting in the line like a trout, following the... Oh, there's, there's another one up there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, right there. That's a gar. All right. All right, 10.15. Just stopped to take a little break. I'm over... Uh, what am I exactly at? Oh, I've been hiking for 2 hours and 25 minutes. And I am 6.16 in. So I'm going at 2.8. Which is a little slow. Because this has been... You know, I'm kind of like a road. So I should be going around 3. But my legs are extremely tight. So that makes sense. I'm moving good though. I'm happy with my pace and what's going on. I just emptied my shoes out of all the sand and everything. <sighs> Anyway, refilled now. I have the thing of Gatorade in the front and then a liter and a half of water on the side. So, but I have less than six more miles to go. So I'm good, I think. In theory, I'm good. And I've been hydrating, drinking uh, the front bottle every three miles. So 20 ounces every three miles. Probably not ideal, but sufficient. All right. All right. Uh, 6.53 miles in. It looks like we're... Getting into some trail trail again. Primitive trail conditions. Next 1.8 miles. I think that might be it. And then after that, I might hit the road. But I'm not sure. May your trails be crooked, winding, lonesome, dangerous. Leading to the most amazing view. 
Man. Okay. Yeah. Just like all these outdoor influencers that go on a through hike and then they say, Oh, I had an epiphany and I realized that Jupiter aligned and God placed me here to do this. I think all oh, that is bullshit. I think they're just trying to talk it up for social media or whatever because they think they're supposed to. Because I've done two through hikes now and I haven't felt nothing except pain. I mean, don't get me wrong. I felt good about myself. It was a challenge and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But somebody's, uh, I don't know. I think maybe some people are looking for a little, little more than is actually there. I think the outdoors are healing because of the basic stuff. Sunlight, physical activity. Both of them cause you to drink water, which hydrates you. So hydration, sunlight, and physical activity, you're going to feel better. Right? That's what I think. Either way, to each his own. I have no clue what just was in that trail. I want to say it was a mountain lion, but it looked like it had a long, it definitely had a long tail. And it took off and crashed, but there's a swamp there. Where did it go? All I heard was the crash and seen a long t brown tail with like a black spot. And I screamed. Man, it ran into the swamp, though. I'm super nervous right now. It probably ran up to the side, and I just didn't know it. Unless it's waiting for me. I'm shaking right now. That was intense. It was big. Like, I just caught the outline. Yeah, man, that had to be a mountain lion. Unless someone's got, like a monkey go or something out here. Because I caught the like the spine. It was long. It's hard to register because your eye catches it in the movement and then all of a sudden you're shocked. That's why eyewitness testimony is like literally the most unreliable. But definitely had a long tail and it, it stopped making noise quick so it might have treated itself. But I believe if I'm... Bobcats, they're called because they got the tails bobbed off, so it had to be a mountain lion with that long tail. Or what they call cougars down here, or panthers. Same thing. Alright, just uh, saw a hiker coming this way. We were talking. Let him know I just saw a mountain lion, and he says he just seen a, down here where I'm going. He said there's alligators, a water moccasin, and hogs. And he says I'm going to be going through water about mid mid shin deep so lovely and we were i was talking about ticks he's like i know dude the ticks have been horrible i've been picking them off me and he looked down at his leg and literally picked off a tick <sighs> he's just wearing shorts not a care in the world all right i just reapplied uh some bug spray just concentrating on like my knees and my waist hit my head a little bit my neck one can's just about shot. I probably could have finished it just now, but no point in carrying it. It's empty, so I will keep a little bit in there. <laughs> Justify carrying it. <clears throat> Man. I knew this dryness was too good to be true. All right. Just saw a tick crawling on me, so I re-soaked myself again now that can's empty. The only issue is I think when I was spraying my head, I might have got my raincoat wet sprayed. And that's uh, that's not ideal back there. I believe deed is not good on certain raincoats or Gore-Tex. Oh, stumps, man. Well, that was not it. Look at this. See that little... It's a snake trail? Is that a snake? It's not a bike. Oh... See how, uh, definitely a snake go all the way up. Oh, I'm, this is so muddy. Uh, but that doesn't look, I'll tell you what, I'm entering these areas now with a whole different feeling than I was three, four days ago before I saw the gators, before I saw their soulless killer bodies. Like I am, I ain't gonna lie, I'm nervous because there's just nothing you can do. 
they don't care. What am I going to do? OC spray them? At best, I'm going to lose a limb or ha I'm going to lose a limb. It's going to be eaten and half infected even if I get it out. Where do I go when I'm through here? Okay, straight through there. <sighs> Lovely. All right, let me get going. All right, well, my left leg went up to my knee. The other one was only men. That was uh, real mucky and gooey at the bottom, so you sunk in kind of like this crap. Oh. Well, I mean, I'm just looking around for a gator. I'm like, oh, he could just be buried under here waiting, waiting for a nice bag of milk to come strolling in. <laughs> that was uh, not fun and yeah, disgusting, and it's enough to make you want to quit the Florida Trail. Now I'm just looking at myself. Oh, I hate ticks. I probably hate crocs a little more. <laughs> oh. Come on, man. This stuff really slows you down. I was making good time. Oh, I see a sign coming up, though. All right, we're going from Crockville to Tickville. Wet, sloppy crap with high overgrown brush. Ah, oh, lovely. Here, tick, 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 tick. Oh. I'll tell you what, I don't care who you are. You'll be walking and feeling a lot different about this stuff once you see what's once you see them gators. Because, you know, what's the difference between a trail that's flooded and a stream or a creek that the gators live in? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. God, man, this pain is going in my foot. Oh. It's like, it went from my shin to, like, in here. When I bend, right, right there. Oh. Maybe that lace is tied a little tight. I mean, it's not a debilitating pain by any means. It's just another thing for me to fucking complain about excuse my language alright that was the deepest one I went up to my ass a couple times like doing a slide and I can't even I'm so fat I can't even get back ah oh, my knee I'm falling apart I hate this water slippery stuff man it's rough on my joints and you step and then you kind of slide forward and uh. <laughs> I'll tell you what if I I wish I never started this trail. I mean, I gotta, I gotta finish it now as I started it. I'm not gonna quit now, but God, I wish I didn't start this trail. I wish I would did something else. Cause this is just, this, this just sucks. The hell just touched my foot. <laughs> I mean, it's just. I still got almost a mile to go with this crap before I hit the parking lot and then the highway right there. I mean, why would you choose to hike this? Like, if you could do anything else. Literally start the Appalachian Trail early. And hike, oh, this is deep. And hike in the winter. Do something. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Oh, it's so deep. I mean, not really so deep, but deeper than it looks. Oh, that was deep. That was knee. Oh. Oh, that was deeper. Oh, that was even... <laughs> Maybe he was talking about this place for the alligator. <laughs> Look at this. All the way up. Just more suckiness. Come hike the Florida track. It's so much fun. Just more and more of this shit. 8.34 miles in. It's just... I mean, I've been up well past my knees now. Just... 
I try to go fast, it's just, it's too slippery and it, you, you know, I'm not stepping level. It's, it puts too much pain on my knees, specifically my right one. Oh yeah, this is the deep, deep, deep. Oh yeah, look at I don't like this one. This is just, I mean, I don't know why you would, I don't know why you would choose to hike this if you're seeing this. Like there is zero pleasure in this. Still four tenths of a mile to go to get to the parking lot. It's just, I'm, I just don't, this is just, I don't understand why you would do this. I don't know why I'm doing it. This is just ridiculous. Like, how is this considered a trail? Like, I it changed the name of it or something. It should be section hikes. Not like, This ain't a through hiking trail. This is, you're literally honking, honk, honking, hiking through swamps. It's not like this is nice, clean mountain water and you're hiking through a creek or something. This is disgusting, nasty, stinky water. It smells like Norristown. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Wah, wah, wah. Hiking is so hard. Wah. Somebody help me. I had to get my feet wet. That was definitely a deeper section. I constantly, I mean, I'm wet past my. Oh my, it's up to my uh, crotch. My crotch will... My ass is all wet. You, you walk and then you slide into these deeper holes and take it down like an extra foot, foot and a half deep, man. All right, this lovely section actually just came up and touched my backpack and got my phone wet. All right, 12 o'clock, I'm out of the f shit soup. I'm guessing this takes me to the highway. Man, I don't know what that is in that knee, but that, this extra weight. Anyway, I went um, 8.25 miles in. Uh, four hours and four minutes. I'll take a break, fill up my water bottle, and then get done in this road walking. All right, I believe this is Highway 98. It's like two miles to JR's. I was thinking this whole time it says basic cabin rentals available. But I don't see anyone in the notes or online where it says they have little cabins for rent. Um, but according to everybody, I got to get on the other side. According to all the notes, they'll let you camp in the backyard. So I might make it there for hot food for lunch, but I might have to be moving on to camp somewhere. I don't know. All right, so I kept scrolling through. There's 44 notes about this place. People love it. So I guess you can camp on the property, get a hot breakfast and a hot lunch. Um, I guess they used to have a pig. Anyway, it changed owners a couple years ago. So none of that stuff's there anymore, but it sounds like these new guys still allow camping. I had to scroll back quite a couple years, but I guess there's a, like a rustic uh, cabin. I forget exactly how it was worded, but it's like a three bedroom thing in there. They said ask for a rate. I'm going to try to get that if it's electricity and I can get off my feet and not be in a tent for tonight. <laughs> yeah, actually, unless this is really cheap here, I'm going to wait because, uh, and another like 65, 70 trail miles, I'll be at Madison. And that uh, they have a couple hotels there, so. Can I camp down there somewhere? Can I get down there? Oh, that looks dryish. How do I get down there? Oh no, it's surrounded by swamp. So I think that'll be the plan. I should have had my mail sent there, not to Lamont. Maybe I can call Lamont and have them forward it. I don't think that works that way. I don't know what's back here on this trail, but the store's down there. That might be a possible camping spot. I should check it out right now.
literally in the middle of nowhere to store. It's not posted down there either. I'm gonna check my map right now. All right, little grocery store, and whatnot. This thing's probably gold mine back here. All right, in and out. I got a bacon cheeseburger with fries. I hope they put some ketchup mustard on it because I didn't see any out. That was an $86 stop. Now, I did get a little crazy, but not really. I mean, I'll tell you what I bought in a minute, but I'm going to walk up here to that path and take it down and hope it's somewhere I can just relax and eat because my, uh, I'm not, I don't want to be a little bitch like I usually am, but this, whatever's on the left side of my kneecap right there and then something down here, it's, they're both really bothering me. You know me, my limp is usually on my left leg and it's my whole right leg today. And uh, I'm sure if I get moving, it'll get warmed up again. But uh, yeah, anyway, I can't believe I just spent that much money in there. Yeah, I asked about the cabin. He's the guy, I don't know what you're talking about. And then when he left, the lady told me, he goes, yeah. He's like, that's my dad. The old owner used to run it out. That's where my dad's living at now. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> he could have just said that. I don't know. But uh, they have a little restaurant connected. The store's basically empty. Basically, people stop there for gas and bait and ammo. They run a little fishing charter there. So, he didn't say I could have camped out back. He said, he said, some people do camp out back. But he didn't offer me, but I wasn't going to stay anyway. It's a weird vibe in there. Okay, this is just a hunting spot for somebody. I think. Unless this keeps going. Which means there's going to be a game camera around here somewhere. That's power lines. Well, you can't have the power lines. It is. Sorry, I just itched my face with the phone. I forgot that I'm... Oh, oh. That's pretty cool, but that gives you a little spooky feeling, too. The power lines are a good place to, uh... Set up camp during a, a, a possible tornado warning. I think so. All right, hold on, guys. I'm gonna get this hog for you. Oh, I got they're growing clover here. Look at this. This is 100% a hunting spot. I think there's a feeder over here where that hog was just at. I'm sorry I'm whispering. I don't want to try to scare him away. He's a nice size one. Look at all the hog prints. You see him? You still can't see him. I can. He's all by himself, which is unusual. Right below a feeder. <laughs> yeah, there's a feeder. They got a whole hunting operation going on back here. They're growing clover up there with sprinklers, which means they probably have game cameras all around here. Oh, he's over there. All right, that's enough. I'm gonna get out of here before I set off these game cameras, which I probably already have. Well, I'm actually a little nervous now to camp back here. There is literally pig poop everywhere. And this is all clover they're growing. So someone's taking care of this. But isn't Power Lines public property? I'm not sure. I don't know. But I'm going to try to eat this burger. It is dry. She didn't put no mustard mayonnaise or nothing on it. But it still looks delicious. Oh, yeah. there's this, that's, Maybe it's on there. I can't. There's mayo. Yeah, everything's on there. Look at them fries of season. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I should have set my tent up, but I don't know what to do. That's a good hunting area, though. Now, I don't think he's doing this for hogs. I think he's probably doing it for deer. But maybe for hogs. I don't know. 
I doubt it. But I just checked the rules. <laughs> Not that he's breaking any rules doing this. I wasn't checking for that. I was just that. Uh, you can literally hunt hogs year round, day or night, basically by any means necessary when you're on private land in Florida here. So, because they're considered a nuisance animal. So it's kind of like coyotes in Pennsylvania. Just kill them, get rid of them. I'm walking the other way because this can't go on forever. Maybe if I get down behind like the store or something, the power line still might work. That burger is absolutely delicious. It's super big. That was the cheapest thing I got there. It was $12 for that platter. All right. I might set up right here. Right? That way I can... Oh, what are these culverts? I'm telling you, these culverts are placed here. I think there's a pig traps or something. I don't want to go near them because there might be like foot grab traps or something. Because there's another smaller culvert down there. And the way they're positioned, I just don't think they happen to roll there. Like, I think that's there for a reason. I'm actually, I'm going to go look, but I'm afraid I'm going to step in something. Like a mountain trap or something. I could be completely wrong. Well, maybe not. Maybe they're just here. But I ain't getting in there. So here's my plan. It's another culvert, a small one up there. The perfect pig traps. So look, I'm going to say I came down. It was pouring out. Uh, I noticed that you had fresh crops planted there, so I'm assuming you guys were hunters. So I came back here and just took this little flat spot. What do you mean it's posted? I didn't see no posted signs. Because honestly, I mean, if you look, there there is two posted signs, but they're both up here some. And if it was pouring out, which is going to here in a minute, I wouldn't even see them. This is yes, there's one. And I can get off into technicality. I stop short of it. And another's up there. So, I'm going to give it a whirl, man. At least if I get told to move, how mad can he be? Like, I didn't set up on his crops or his hunting area. All right, 120. I got in here, but I'm soaked. The tent soaked inside. There's no way around it. Started dumping, so I put the raincoat on finally. I just wasted too much time walking around here earlier. Looking for the ideal spot. But... I'm out of the water now, so it's going to be a... It's going to, sorry, I should be showing you something when I'm talking. It's going to be a sticky night. What can you do? Here's my mat. It's absolutely drenched. I'll blow it up here in a minute. No, this will pass. Hopefully I can dry off a little bit. That's it. Let's eat this burger. All right. Oh, yeah, I dumped my fries and my burger all over inside of my tent, all over me. Just so you know, I'm, like, soaked. I shouldn't even have put the rain gear on when I did. Or oh, I should have had it on previously. So I kind of... I got my rain gear wet and I'm wet. So I didn't do anything properly. Oh well. I'll be alright. Alright, so... I was feeling wood underneath me. It's like... This is a puddle already. And I'll stick you outside. I think everything's flooding. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay here much longer. I mean, I think I'm okay now. But I don't want to get the mat out and get comfortable and then have to pack up and move in this crap. And it's going to stay like this for, I think, till 5 o'clock. We'll see what happens another half hour. I forgot to tighten this pole on the rope, so it's super... It should be like that. But I didn't tighten it. That's not tight either. What's going on? I don't know what's going on in my tent, but it's still working. I'm just on top of a lot of water. If I can hang on to like another hour and a half. Oh, yeah, it's flooded. Look at that. Uh, hold on. Right where I'm at, everywhere. Ha <laughs> ha, this is lovely. All right, I'm going to blow up my mat. At least I can float away on that. Look at that puddle and water, man. Because I'm on the side of the driveway, so everything's flooding right underneath me. Um, the reason I'm wet, I mean, it's all my own fault. I was did dying around, walking around with a cheeseburger, looking to place the camp. I knew this rain was coming. I just kept thinking it was going to be like all day long so far and kept getting pushed back, pushed back. So I only have myself to blame for 
being soaking wet and laying here right now, but I got a not a lot of water, but some water off the mat here. A couple little puddles, no big deal. Uh, I'll be fine tonight. Might be a little chilly because I'm soaked, so I might have to strip off all this wet stuff. Maybe I could put on my fleece and my compression shorts. Everything in my bag's wet now. So, you know, wet from this morning and wet from me getting everything out. So it is what it is. Hopefully it can dry out tomorrow. Hopefully, more importantly, hopefully no one comes by and tells me to move tonight. That would be the absolute worst, packing this up. All right, 2.30, guys. That's it. My tent is sitting on... This is the this is the bad spot. Like, you, it's just a couple inches of water. Like, I could press down. But it's just floating there for right now. My uh, stakes are all disappeared under the water, so I don't know how long they're going to hold for, but... We got another uh, round coming. I mean, it's like okay there on the road, but you can see where I'm at. Same thing over here. Like, I'm just flooded. So, look, I step on my mat. Hmm. All right, 4 o'clock. Looks like the rain's pretty much stopped. I am a filthy, wet mess. I was just dozing off, and then all of a sudden I heard a side-by-side -side pull up. And it stopped. I'm like, oh, man. I unzip it. It's an old timer and his dog. I'm like, hey man, sorry, I'm hiking the Florida Trail. It just started pouring, and I, he's like, oh yeah, and we started talking. No problem at all. He actually told me I could have camped up there. He's actually checking his camera, so he's probably gonna see me walking around eating a cheeseburger. I knew there'd be cameras up there. He might be turkey hunting there tomorrow. He said, but uh, um. That's JR. That's his store. So he sold it a couple years ago. He's like, oh, you can camp at the store. I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. But he had no, no, not a care in the world. So that was pretty awesome. So I'm going to go back to bed here, I think. Still flooded out. All right, 5 o'clock, guys. I'm in my uh, dirty compression shorts, which are dry. Fresh pair of socks. And uh, everything and my fleece and my beanie and my buff. Just pulled out my bag, so it's gonna it's kind of getting damp, but all my wet stuff's right there. <laughs> my soaking wet socks that I right there and everything else. So it's gonna really, really, really suck tomorrow morning putting all this crap back on, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Nothing's gonna dry out tonight with the high humidity and that it's gonna chance of rain anyway, so there's literally no point in trying to hang it anywhere. On um, the next couple of days are only going to be partly sunny, so hopefully I can get a nice patch of sun, get everything dry, because even the everything's wet, like, you know, all my uh, pods and everything, it's just a lot of wetness, so hopefully tomorrow I can get everything dried off, so I can, uh, also tomorrow I can, hopefully I can soak my clothes down with the permethrin, but anyway, that's it for today, there's no more point in making videos tonight, uh, it was nice that I got to meet the old owner of the store, JR. And then I got the blessing to be here. He also told me, I, could, I think, I don't know what I mentioned, but I could camp up there in the fields. He's like, ah, who cares? I'm like, oh, I didn't, you know. So, he was nice. Anyway, I'm out.